Hey superstars, welcome back to one of my through the mail autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug him for an autograph. I'm on a little vintage kick, so let's stop by Triple Play Vintage to find something cool. Hey, Dave Justy, I've been wanting to send to him. Very convenient that his cards were just sitting in front like that. Almost like someone planned this. There's a nice 64 and a 69. Those will look good. 76 should look good too. Let's take a look. Disco! A few weeks ago I was watching my buddy Michael Myers who does through the mail autographs on YouTube as well. Michael said that Dave Justy's daughter went on to some of the Facebook groups asking us TTM nerds to send to him as he wasn't feeling well and he really enjoys the fan mail. Dave Justy's not a household name but he was a really really good reliever and it was neat to learn a little bit about him. I was more than happy to oblige plus it gives me a chance to draw the best baseball hat ever. The Pittsburgh Pirates pillbox can't be beat. When I got into this hobby, and I really haven't been doing it that long, I just thought it would be neat to uh, get some autographs back from a couple of guys I liked as a kid. But I'm finding it really awesome that I can not only learn about players that I didn't know anything about, but I can also do some good. It didn't occur to me that getting fan mail could lift an old baseball player's spirits or brighten someone's day. And I frequently send autograph drawings to Autographs for a Cure to help with cancer research. And I know a lot of guys also like signatures for soldiers as well. So I'm not saying that autograph collectors such as myself are Mother Teresa or anything like that, but it's nice to know that the silly little hobby can do some good in the world, and it certainly brightens my day when I see those self-addressed stamped envelopes in my mailbox. There's my doodle and those cool vintage cards I picked up. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we got. He did not answer any of my questions. That's all right, but he did send back the doodle signed. There's the cards. He usually signs in ballpoint pen, which is fine with me. I like that he found the best spots on the cards to sign. Uh, normally I'd send this to autographs for a cure, but this one's spoken for already. So uh, thank you very much, Mr. Justy. I hope this brightened your day a little bit. And thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And we'll catch you next time.